Hi everybody. My name is Michelle Jacox. I am an employee with the Manistee Conservation District and I'm helping ISN today to identify some multiflora rows. We're going to take a look at this invasive species. Um, I am at a natural area in the greater Grand Traverse area region. Won't have any problem finding multiflora rows. Once you know it, you know it and it'll stand out. So let's go take a look. So here I've spotted my first uh, multiflora of the day. Uh, multiflora rose has these toothed leaves. It's very similar to a rose variety that you would see in your garden. It has the thorns like any rose would. Here's some multiflora just coming right in on the trail. It'll grow, like I said, really quickly. You can see these thorns and the hairs right there. These appendaged leaves that are opposite of each other. So that means they're directly across from one another. Okay, so as you can see here, multiflora has grown pretty big. There's just one little sliver of it. It can send multiple shoots out of the same spot. So we're seeing a lot of flowers here getting to the rose hip stage and it'll start spreading by birds pretty soon. They'll think this is a tasty treat, not knowing that they're spreading invasive seeds. And it can also have a negative impact on the birds also because it'll take over native plants uh, vegetatively that the birds use uh, for homes and for protection as well as for nests and other things. So there's good ground, native ground covers that the birds use as habitat that will eventually be taken out due to this plant growing so large and wide that it's so vegetative that you can't get anything else growing under the understory and it'll eventually take out those native plants. Thank you for going on this little multiflora rose adventure today with me. And I want to say thanks to ISN for continuously working to improve ecological balance and remove invasive species that throw off the balance of our native ecosystems. For more information, you can contact them. Thanks for coming on this hike with me today, and I hope you learned something.